Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Today I bring you another battle against Siza. I'm not sure how you pronounce his full name, but I'm calling him Siza because I don't actually speak French besides bonjour and, you know, uh, parlez-vous anglais? Uh, anyway, it made, uh, it made, actually, actually people were really nice when I went to, uh, France, uh, not too long ago. Anyway, down to the battle at hand. It is a Little Cup battle, uh, and I still don't have quite the enthusiasm that I used to have for Little Cup, because I am waiting at this point for the Little Cup Council's decision on whether to ban Mischievous. Lots of people are calling for it to be banned currently, but they're also calling for Mind Food to be banned, which is ridiculous, and they're kind of calling for Yanma to be unbanned, which would be crazy unbalanced, um... But, whatever. Uh, he leads off with a Ponyard, and I lead off with my Snover, and I'm very, very glad that it is in a Violite Snover, because uh, usually these Ponyards run um, Scarf right now, and I can just go for... Oh, I don't actually do it. I, I decide I want to preserve the illusion that I'm Scarfed, um, but I could have easily gone for the Protect to see what he was going to lock himself into. It turns out it's Brick Break. Uh, Ponyard is buffered by the hill, but even if it were, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, uh, it's not violated, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, um, Scarf. But the way he switches it out, I'm guessing, well, no matter what he'd want to switch it out, never mind. Goes out into Cottony, uh, to resist my Drain Punch, and that's fine. Doesn't do any damage at all, uh, but you know what, I have plenty of counters for this, uh, this Cottony. Uh, specifically, I have my Snover and my Fungus. It's kind of weird that I have three Grass types on this team, uh, but Fire is really not that big of a deal in Little Cup. You've got like one Fire type Pokemon that's viable, uh, maybe two or three. Depends on how you play with them. But I go out now into my, uh, yeah, so predicting the uh, any kind of Grass move. Uh, this was an excellent play, and now I can hit it with a 4x effective, that's right, 4x effective Sludge Bomb. Uh, and obviously he's going to predict that and switch out. I could have predicted that and gone for the Spore, but I didn't. Uh, so he goes out into Ponyard and it's going to be a win. Oh, I did go for the Spore! That's right! I'm so smart! I actually predicted the switch out and went for the Spore! So now, this Ponyard, who is easily the biggest threat on his team, is put to sleep. And I don't have to worry about it, because it's put to sleep. And so I am the happiest camper in the world, uh, because I played that so well. So, um... Siza actually had a decently competitive team and a decently put, well put together team, but I just I had this pr uh, prediction and it was amazing, and it really was significant. So he does not get the first turn wake. Uh, he's going to withdraw Ponyard, not wanting to die to a um, to the quite obvious uh, drain punch. I actually go for the U-turn, predicting the switch out, and so now this is great. I have switch initiative. Cottony's health is going to go down quite a bit. I withdraw. And I'm going to go out into my 2010. I uh, don't want to be repeating myself uh, with the switch out into my um, my fungus. And 2010 can just go for the super effective uh, blizzard, 100% accurate thanks to the hail. Yeah, I was originally thinking. So he goes for the momento here, uh, and that's. I mean, you were going to die one way or the other. I guess this is the better way to die, um, since my special attack now harshly falls, and I'm going to have to switch out next turn. This is actually going to prove to be a very good move for him, uh, so Blizzard does nothing. It's going to turn out to be a very good move for him because he's going to go out into his Zigzagoon, and I'm going to have to switch out and let him get up a free uh, Belly Drum. And, you know, belly, belly Drum Zigzagoon is actually fairly intimidating, as you will see. Uh, he goes for the Belly Drum, it's going to cut his health in half, but, uh, you know, Berry Juice is a thing this generation, so it's going to go right back up to full HP. And um, Cuddledum is now out, and I'm thinking, yeah, what Cuddledum also walls it. So it doesn't wall it as well as it did last gen, because last gen, not even Thief would be regularly effective against it, so it resisted pretty much all of his moves. Um, actually, I think all of the moves that he had. So he goes for Thief here, and I, real and I realize, oh, this is actually doubly uh, I'm screwed, because this is doubly I'm screwed, because he steals my Violate, and now he has an Violate. So that was actually excellently played, and I'm like, I can deal with this, right? Um, this isn't like good game, right? Because extreme speed boost at uh, plus six. Yeah, so actually the best thing I can do right now is protect stall. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stall him out and try to get his health as low as possible. And there is hail, and that's going to help. I go ahead and protect here, and so he's going to take damage from hell. He's going to take damage from leech seed, and I'm thinking. So this is this is my team is a legitimately full stall team. I think actually if you classify it. By regular um, criteria, it ends up semi-stall, semi, semi -stall, um, 
yeah, I, I have done some analysis in the past on what, what constitutes a stall team, and I think this co constitutes a semi-stall by OU standards, and semi-stall by OU standards versus, um, you know, for Little Cup, Little Cup's an extremely offensive tier, um, you know, is pretty darn stally. So anyway, he gets my health now really low, but does not manage to take me out, so, and he's taking Iron Barb's damage, and that's really helping, so I'm thinking I actually might be able to take this thing out before... For, well, not before I die, but as I die. And I'm getting up enough hazards, and he doesn't have any spinners, uh, that I'm thinking that this is... This is, um... This is really a good situation, because... And I don't really need my... Except for, for Zigzagoon, I don't really need um, my Cuddle Dump, my uh, Pharaoh Seed, because... Yeah, it doesn't actually have any attacking moves. So I go ahead and I actually double protect, and that's, that's a bit lame, but the chances of getting a double protect are one in... Uh, one and two, so it's not like that's the biggest hacks in the world. I think I'm just gonna go for the triple protect, and yes, it's lame, but this is a full stall team. What do you want from me? Uh, so my triple protect does fail, and that's fine. He goes ahead and thieves here. Cuddle Dump is taken out. Uh, Iron Barbs is going to get him really low, and now I'm thinking, well, my leech is still back up, and I have two additional Pokemon with protect, uh, but I'm gonna do even better because I'm going to go out into 2010 and he's going to take even more residual damage thanks to the hail. I was really concerned, I think I was starting to say this when I got interrupted, I was really concerned that um, with Gen 6's nuking of auto weather that uh, 2010 wasn't going to be the best Pokemon, but I actually realized hail hurts me more than it helps me in the long term, and in this case, and you know, all the best thing it's used for is making Blizzard 100% accurate. So uh, yeah, I take out Marcel and also stuff like this right here. So I'm actually glad that I've left 2010 on this team. Uh, so now out is going to be Spritzy, and that's fine. It's going to take a little bit of da uh, damage from the hazards just in case he had... Actually, I guess he probably does have one sturdy Pokemon. I go ahead and go for the Blizzard. It doesn't do very much because uh, Spritzy is very, very bulky. I couldn't remember whether Spritzy uh, carries uh, Flamethrower or not, um, but I decided if I'm sacrificing 2010, I'm sacrificing 2010. Um, goes now out into his uh, uh, Tortuga. Uh, I'm not sure why, because he saw that I had the Protect, so he knows that I'm not locked in. Uh, so this was actually a little bit of a weird move. Uh, it, maybe he was thinking that maybe the Blizzard would get him down to 50% and he could get back up to full. Uh, but no, it's not working that way, so I go ahead and Giga Drain. I'm, I'm assuming he has Berry Juice as this item. I don't know for a fact that that's true, but I Giga Drain, get the KO. Maybe he didn't think I was running the Giga Drain, but what kind of self-respecting um, Snover doesn't run Giga Drain. So, gotten it taken care of. Now it is Diglett. And I'm thinking, that's fine. Um, maybe it has Rock Slide, but it's not, it's not Stab, so I don't think it could take me out. Uh, gets me down to 11. That's fine. I get flinched. And I'm like, stupid hacks. Stupid, stupid hacks. That was lame hack. I, and I decide I'm just going to Ice Shard here, uh, because at least I get some damage off on it. And uh, he goes for the Rock Slide. And I believe that's going to take me out. Uh, although, it, I, I think it was close. I'm, I'll put up the count as to how much damage that was expected to do. So now that takes me out, and I go now out into River. I can just go for the priority fake out and take out this Diglett. Not a problem. So Diglett is now down, and he's got he's got another fairy type. So he actually has two fairy types on his team. Uh, and I have none. I have none. Um, yeah, Cottony's an interesting Pokemon, but I just haven't really decided to use it. So, uh, spike damage, I go for the U-turn, it is resisted, but I just wanted to, I wanted to switch out, and that was the best way to switch out. So, River returns, River, my MVP, I don't think it's, I mean, it's over, it's central, it's very highly used, but it's not broken in any respect, so I got out, out, no, I go now out into Minimus as he goes for the Wish. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I've got to take, let's see, at that range of health, can I take it out? And it turns out not to matter because it goes for the Protect. Um, but unless he's trying to Protect stall me until I run out of Sludge Bomb, which he cannot do, uh, this is not going to work out very well for him. So, uh, I, and also, I, if he decides, if I decide that he just wants to play that game, I have, I can Regenerate or stall him just by switching out into a few different Pokemon. Actually, I only have two Pokemon who could who have regenerated at this point because I've gotten rid of my Slowpoke. He goes with a Calm Mind, and that unfortunately is going to cost him a Spritzy, because now he doesn't have a Wish set up, he can't Wish Protect. Uh, the Poison didn't matter, because even if he weren't, weren't Poisoned, I could take him out on the next turn no matter what he did. Also, I outspeed it turns out. So, I go ahead and Sludge Bomb and take out his Spritzy, 
And now he's down to one final Pokemon, which is a Sleeping Ponyard, and I have enough Pokemon left that I can deal with it, assuming that it is Choice Locked. Even if it's not Choice Locked, I can deal with it. Um, I can deal with it partially by putting it back to sleep, but let's not let's not go down that rabbit hole. I go now out into River, and uh, this should be good game. I don't think he has any moves that can take out my uh, Mind Fu, but even if he does, it's not that big a deal. So he goes for the knockoff, and that's probably the best move. Well, actually, uh, Iron Head is probably a better move there, but he wanted to get rid of my Violet anyway. I go for the Drain Punch, and that is going to take him out. And this is uh, this is good game. It wasn't quite a body bag because I lost two. Um, but I am still very pleased with how this team is doing. Believe it or not, I actually lose a decent percentage of my matches when I play on Showdown, um, because people on Showdown who play Little Cup at a high level are very good. Um, but yeah, so anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long, folks.